I am honored by your presence, for you are the people of my heart, the joy of my soul, the fulfillment of my dreams. Through you I live in heaven and on earth. Come unto me and enter the chambers of my heart, where my love will surround you and fill your heart with peace and joy. And we will be one, now and forever. I will embrace you, comfort you, strengthen you, heal your wounds and give you peace. And neither the evil of the evil one, nor the hurt of life, will harm you. I will comfort and gift you. Promise. Grace and peace to you from the Lord Jesus Christ. May the wonder of my creation fill your heart with gladness and awe. May the wonder of my love fill your heart and spirit with gladness and thanksgiving. May the wonder of my power fill your being with my strength and might. It is my desire that you know my spirit, live my truth, walk in my light, and know and share my love. It is also my desire that you be at peace in your heart and soul, for I have forgiven all your sins. I have removed your shame from my sight. I see only the reflection of my glory upon you as you are one of my beloved ones. Lift up your heart. Accept my love for you. See the splendor of my radiance and all the saints in glory standing before me. I lord it not over them, but serve their resurrected spirits with my soul sustaining radiance and glory, as my love and joy flows upon them from my radiance, as they bask in the glory of my majesty. One day, by the grace of my Son, Jesus Christ, you will stand among them. I am the one who will restore your fortunes. I am the one who brings life out of death, light for the darkness, and love to conquer the world. Follow me. Stay close or you will lose your way. But if you stay close, I will turn your tears to laughter. I will turn your ache to joy. Others will find joy in your presence and me in your midst. Bring forgiveness, love, joy, and peace to others. And grow in your knowledge of me. Help them grow, too. Stay close, but not put. For I am the God who guides and directs. Why did you think you were dreaming? Did you not trust me? Or was it that good? Pray. Seek my wisdom and guidance. Proclaim my glory. Worship the Lord and follow him. Then, I will restore your fortunes, and not before. I desire your love and affection, not your blind obedience. To follow me without knowing and loving me means nothing. Follow me because you love me, not because somebody else has told you to go this way. It is not your faith in me if you do that. When you know me, when you have suffered through agony and emptiness, when you have come to believe in faith, then others will follow you in prayer and holiness. Let people know the power and truth of prayer. Stop being afraid of being a person of prayer. Stop being afraid of being a person of holiness. Then, I will lead you on the ancient paths.